Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, and uh, today's topic is where is the center of your arc so that you know, you know, where to position the ball to hit the ball first and then the grass. So if I have a ball and a string here and I put this ball and I activate this ball and a string, notice where the bottom is. You can see the blur of this thing. Most of you don't know where the blur of your club is. So you can see the blur of the ball, you can see where the bottom is. And if I want that, see that? That's got to be slightly in front of the ball because I want to collect the ball first, then catch the grass and then the ground, okay? So if I only had one arm and I put my ball in a string, notice the center of that machine is my right shoulder. Notice the club keeps bottoming out. Look at that nice turf being taken out at the same spot, right there underneath my shoulder. So then I bring my both shoulders together to take my grip. The center of the machine is right there between the two clavicles. So many of you are thinking, oh yeah, but it's the left armpit because when I see impact, I see this, a straight arm from the left shoulder down to the ball, the left armpit down to the ball. What you don't get though is that the shoulder is moving behind the sternal notch. So this is a two-dimensional picture. When I'm going that way, if I was throwing a club, this is what it would look like. I would let go of the club here because I'm trying to go over there. If I do it from underhand, see how the brain's got to go get the ground, use the ground to get me, my body out of the way so I have access to throwing the club over here. That's where I want to go. So I'm not going to do that to throw the club at the ball. I want to throw the club over there. So I go to the top of my backswing. I want to throw the club to the target. I go to the ground. Use the ground to get the body out of the way. See what happens? So that coming through impact, my hands are coming forward, yes, but my body is clearing. Notice how my hips are clearing. My pelvis and rib cage are turning out of the way. And you are now seeing the left side go back and behind the sternal notch. That's why the center of the machine is here, sternal notch. So if I wanted to play a little draw, I play the ball here back a center. So now the ball can start a little to the right of my target. If I'm lying straight up on the target, I gather and release through and then I got to draw. So notice I catch the ball first, then the low point is right here under my sternal notch. And if I'm doing a fade, I play the ball to here forward to center, aim a little left of my target, low point should be right there now. So see that? So when I shift, gather, shift, out of the way, catch the ball first, then the ground here. So, now I've got a ball with a nice fade flavor. So you see how that works now? So with the irons, where the center of mass is right underneath the shaft, you always want to stick closer to center because if you play the ball too far forward, and you'll feel this, you want to make a nice, uh, a really good analogy here. Let's say this is a door frame, and I put the ball right up against the door frame, and I want to squeeze this ball straight into the door frame. If I play the ball too far forward, I feel the need to go lunge after it. If I play it too far back, I feel the need to reach back for it. When you have it in the center, it feels like you can drive through this door frame, okay? So look at my video entitled um, Predict Solid Contact and Direction, Sean Clement, and you'll see the four elements that are preventing you from releasing to the target. Ball position is a major one, and we do a, a little bit of a Goldilocks like I just showed you. So if I wanted to start my ball over this intermediate point, if I play the ball there, I got to go after it. If I play the ball here, I got to reach back. If I play the ball here, I can play a little fade over that. If I play the ball here, I can play a little draw. So I can either start a little left of it or a little right of it. So with a draw, the front of the ball is touching center. And with a fade, the back of the ball is touching center. That's it. 
And it doesn't matter which club, because I, I carry a nice three iron in the bag and I'll do the three iron exactly the same way. So what matters is the picture that you're swinging into through this intermediate point and the rest is going to take care of itself. That way you don't have to manufacture uh, going after or, coming or, or going behind. All you got to do is let it go. So if I'm doing a draw, I feel like I'm behind it right now. I can just gather and throw. You hear that sound? That was beautifully mashed up against that club face. So let me do a couple in slow motion for you. So hope you enjoyed that. Looks like the lights are going out on our range here. The sun is pretty much done for the day. So we're going to get, go get ready for dinner. And uh, tomorrow we're back playing the teeth of the dog. And uh, I got some beautiful pictures to show you guys. All the best.